The Cleveland clouds, ladies and gentlemen. The Cleveland, Ohio overcast. I'm going to try not to bitch too much, though, because we've had a very, very, very nice winter. Very little snow, more sun than ever. It's really not bad at all. And I'm leaving the state for a week and 13 days. Yeah, so it's 2.20 p.m. I'm just pulling into the driveway here back from a, it felt like a longer day today. And it feels like Monday was about a year ago, but I don't feel like it was a long week. That completely contradicts what I just said, but maybe you know what I mean. Next week's gonna be great. Auto show tomorrow, next week. I don't have to go in until 11.30 every day. So that's gonna be awesome. And then I've only got one more week till I can get out of here. So we're doing well, guys. We're doing well. It's just three o'clock now. We've got some pretty big storms over Toledo and Lake Erie headed this way. Uh, so it's still like 40 degrees and now we've got more clouds and it's starting to rain a little bit. Not bad, not bad. I got a product for review today from Nutrient Technologies. It's another, you know, they sent me the iPad 2 case, the stylus, something else. I think there was something else, maybe not. I've got it down here. I was looking all over for my tripod and I remember it. I lent it to Kenan maybe uh, two, three weeks ago and he still has it. So I'm waiting for my phone to recharge here on life support so I can go pick it up. But this product is actually another thing very similar to this, a mobile power pack battery thing. So I'll see how it compares to the two me. Maybe we'll do a, a heads up review or head to head review. But I'm gonna get my tripod, unbox this thing real quick. Today, I'd like to get that up on the channel today, and then I'll review it early, mid next week. And that's going to be the last reviewing I'm going to be doing before um, California. Well, it's just pissing big times out here. It's 6 o'clock. I'm headed over to meet Jack and Taylor again over at Steak and Shake. It seems like I've been there every week for the past month or something crazy, but Taylor has all these coupons and I'm not super hungry, and I got good food, so why not, right? Yeah, you just missed it. I had some pretty good lightning. We're in the middle of this. Uh, thunderstorm thing going on. It's over Toledo, Ohio, uh, coming this way. So it really feels like spring though. I mean, I hear birds, there's rain and thunder and lightning and it's fine with me. It's 50 degrees. You can probably hear I got my chill CD and this is a CD I made probably a year ago and I haven't listened to a whole lot in the car recently anyways. It's this group called um, Urban Myth or something like that. It's just really chill low-key music. I, I like so many different genres. This happens to be one of them, I guess. But I got the best spot in the lot over here. I like these spots that are on the end um, of the parking lot over here. I'm gonna wait in the car until they show up, but it's in the end so I can park all the way over in the spot. Of course, I'm backed in next to, it looks like a Hyundai Sonata, I think. Um, so, yeah, got wipers off, residual heat's working, I love that. And uh, they sh Jack, Jack's coming, Taylor, or Taylor's on his way too, but Kenan's playing a concert in Westlake, I think, tonight. Listen to the bass in this. It's almost too much. I'm about ready to turn it down on the equalizer. It's powerful. People that say this car doesn't have bass are wrong. The ca this camera may not pick it up at all, or the headphones, it's vibrating the seat that I'm in. And it's like good bass too. It's not that pussy ass bass. I, I know exactly. Wait. That? I don't know. We just did a head dinner and we didn't film any of that. And now we're walking the halls here in, in Acme. And uh, we're, we're going to get some foods. Right? Yeah. Right, Jack? Milk go. challenge, you know? Milk, oh, yeah, milk challenge. <laughs> Taylor, we yeah. should start a channel if you're going to start doing stupid shit. Yes! This is the ultimate focus song. This is a <laughs> white and nerdy. White and nerdy. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say that's up there for sure. Yeah. Best, best this, innovation ever. This Box. and, oh, Jack's got his, yeah. uh, his what's it called? Bo um, baby bottle or something? Baby bottle Excellent. pop. Excellent. That's a 10 out of 10. Nice. I got my, these things. Yeah. What are they called? Lifesavers? Yeah. Awesome. Probably not fried grass. Yeah, I want it right its ass. It's a fence up. Alright, Jack, we're headed over to the hardware store. We don't know which one yet. Oh, come on. We got Mike and Taylor. Wow. Turbo 4. Holy Turbo shit. Turbo 4. That is nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going over to some hardware store to buy some hardware to lift the, the son of a bitch up in the bottom of his car because it's fallen down. And this is an Acura MDX. <laughs> RDX. RDX. What's the difference? MDX is their huge SUV. This is their sporty SUV. Ah, okay. A sporty SUV. Well, somebody is just getting dickered. <laughs> just dicked in their, uh, well, in their, their Chrysler, Chrysler 300. Bentley. And we got somebody else getting cocked up here. 
And uh, we're doing our, our 35 0. Those called, are the yeah, keep going close. Yeah. We're doing 35.0 in our 35, doing, doing real nice here in the Acura. And I gotta say, this is a really nice car. It smells good. We've got, we've got the heated seats, of course. Nice uh, infotainment. And uh, I really like the side bolsters on these seats, which you can't see because it's and too dark. Shoulders. And the shoulders. And the shoulders, really comfortable seats. Kenan's ridden in it. So we'll see who we have getting Dukakis up here. Yeah, you do have to move over a lane, I think. They, they suggest you. Yeah, they prefer that. And it looks like we got ourselves a Cadillac. Oh. Uh, S the SLS or yeah, yeah SLS Seville. Yep. So I guess Mike is way back there. Yeah. Yeah, well, he'll, he'll catch up shortly. Yeah. All right. So we just left Lowe's. We got a couple different pieces of hardware that we're going to try to use in there. And um, Mike was explaining. My recording good. Mike was explaining to the lady on the way out how we were using, we actually bought drywall screws because they're plastic and they will fit inside. This isn't actually holding it up, it's just keeping, it is, but it's not holding the weight of it up. You know what I mean? It's, it's just holding part of it up. I, I know. So it doesn't need to be strong. The rest of it's held in with Torx bolts. So we're just looking for something to hang, to shore up one of the edges. And she's like, well, the drywall, that's going to get wet and it's going to collapse. <laughs> she thought we meant we were like pasting drywall in there to hold this thing up. In a car. <laughs> Only a woman at Lowe's in Streetsboro, Ohio. At 9.30. At 9.30 <laughs> at night on a Friday. Used a self-tapping screw. This is the car. It's a 08 or 09 Camry LE, I think. The four-cinder model. And uh, that actually worked. We were able to, uh, to do that. And they're inside returning the old parts now, except it's kind of closed. So it's not working too well. <clears throat> A little bit dickered. Hey, hey, you guys dicked? No, I was about to get dicked. Do your curtsy. One of you has to do your curtsy. <laughs> In no way is that a curtsy. Jack, come on, do your curtsy. Classy fella. Oh, friggin' right. Is that it? That's, yeah, 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 you did. Taylor, come on, let's see yours. I don't even know how to do it. How do you do it? Let's see. I, I put the lace together. I don't know if that's... Twist your foot backwards like this. Twist your foot backwards like this. like this. You got your little bit. You know. <laughs> hey Taylor, do the do the foot thing. All right, now now walk. Go, oh, set it up. Fix your fix your pants. All right, walk. <laughs> oh my God. Oh look, shaky the camera guy here on the camera. It's not even cold. I don't know why I'm I'm shaking. It's really not. It's like it's like 50, 51, 51 yeah. degrees. Great. We're filling up this beast at what time is it? Yeah, Meister says 11:10. So we're filling this up. We got 40 bucks in it so far. I bet it takes. 58. We're paying about $3.99 a gallon. Or at least that's what we're being robbed here from Shell. What up guys? It's 12.14. We got back from the gas station. Jack uh, headed out about 12 o'clock. I think it's just 12.15 or so now. And um, it is so nice out here. It's about 52 degrees and we've been having a couple thunderstorms. And you can see Taylor almost took out this bush here. Check this out. See this tire track? Look at that. <laughs> it got mud all over the place. At least it didn't go in my yard. Now it's my landscaping I have to worry about. So I got that all filled up, and here within the next 20 minutes, I'm going back to the K&N air filters. Uh, I was on the highway today, and I noticed that the low-end torque isn't what it was. The high-end torque's still there, but the low-end torque isn't what it was. I just noticed it's not the same punch. So I'm going to throw those older filters back in. Um, I really don't think they're dirty. I don't think they need to be washed out and then recharged with the oil solution. I think they're in good shape. I may have a, next time I have the car in for service or oil or anything I have done, I'll ask somebody that knows more about filters and say, hey, are these dirty? I can see light through them. There's no crap in them. Nothing comes off on my fingers. They look clean. I blow them, no dust comes out. So. Those are the signs I'm looking for for dirty filters, and they don't have any of those signs. Yeah, so we'll do that in a few minutes. But these are those things I used to uh, to drive the Camry up on and fix that. We just used some screws, a bunch of washers, and got that, that bottom plate back up in there really well. I have to take all these screws and sockets and ratchets, and I don't know why there's pins here. I took this out of the car, as well as my snow brush. I don't think I'm going to be needing any more. This is that injector cleaner and dry gas that... I actually never used this year, so I'll put that back inside, but I've got to take those down, I've got to take all this stuff down, more screws and bolts and nuts over here. Um, so the next half hour of my life is going to be cleaning stuff up, getting ready for bed. I, I have um, a bunch of crap on my desk I need to go through. I did the unboxing of that product today, so I'm just going to smooth everything over like Mr. Costanza and get ready for bed. I'm not really tired. I had an awesome day after school anyways, so I'm going to jump on this and I'll let you know how we make it. All right, OEM filters back in the box. I took a blower to the K&N ones. I didn't really see anything in there, but 
There was, it's been blown out, at least all that a blower could get. And when I was taking the clips off the airbox lids, uh, one of them fell down into the engine, and you know there's that black plate down there like I was screwing up into the Toyota today? Well, it got stuck down there. So I went down to the basement, I got one of these antlers, which extends, bad camera work, which extends like this, it's got a magnet on the end. So I've been fishing around in there with a flashlight for the past half an hour. And I found it, and I pulled it out, and it was a pain in the ass, but I got it out and put back where it belongs. Um, so hopefully that's back to normal now. So now I get to start the editing of this. That's going to be it. Last clip for today. Tomorrow's the auto show day. It should be an awesome day, and I'll talk to you in the morning. Bye, guys.